in this video we discuss the various property of fluid first we discuss about the mass density second weight density third one specific gravity and fourth specific volume so first we understand what is a mass density mass density of fluid is defined as the mass of fluid per unit volume and it is denoted by rho so mathematically we can written that mass density of fluid is equal to mass of fluid per volume of fluid unit of mass density in si system is kg per meter cube so we know the unit of mass is kilogram and the unit of volume is meter cube so unit of mass density is kg per meter cubes now here you see it is the one cube or suppose we can consider it is the water tank at our home now what is the dimension of this water tank so dimension of this water tank is the 1 meter 1 meter by 1 meter means height is 1 meter width is 1 meters and the length is 1 meters so what is the volume of this cube so volume of the cube is the length into width into height okay and we consider all the dimension is 1 1 1 so volume of this tank is the 1 meter cubes so in a 1 meter cube tank suppose we fill the waters so what is the quantity of water fill in this tank so it is depend on the density so density of the water is 1000 kg per meter cube at the 4 degree centigrade means in this tank the 1000 kg of water is filled it suppose instance of the water we can fill the air so what the quantity of air is filled in 1 meter cubes so answer is 1.21 kg of air is filled in this tank at the standard temperature and pressure so standard temperature and pressure means here stp is written so stp means standard temperature and pressure so mass density of air is 1.21 kg per meter cubes means in a 1 meter cube of the tank the 1.21 kg mass of air is filled it at standard temperature and pressure now suppose instance of air now we can fill the mercury so how many quantity of mercury is filled it so answer is 13600 kg mercury is filled it in a 1 meter cube volume of tank because the mass density of mercury is 13600 kg per meter cube at standard temperature and pressures so here we see understand the what is the mass of water is filled at mass of water filled at is 1000 kg in a 1 meter cubes suppose in a 1 meter cube of tank we fill the air then the answer is 1.21 kg of air is filled at and if we fill the mercury then the mass of mercury is the 13600 kg means mercury have a more density and if we have more density it's have a more mass or a more weight the density of liquid may be consider as constant while that of gas is change with the variation of pressure and temperature so suppose the temperature and pressure of the gas is change the density of the gas is change for the liquid we can consider the density is remains constant so this is the concept of mass density so mass density equation is the mass of fluid upon volume of fluids its unit is kg per meter cubes second term is the weight density or weight density is also call as the specific weight so what is difference between the mass density and weight density so in a definition of the mass density just we replace the word mass by the weight so weight density is defined as the weight of the fluid per unit volume and it is denoted by the small w so weight density of a fluid is equal to weight of fluid upon volume of fluids for a mass density it is the mass of fluid upon volume of fluids so this mass word is replaced by the weight now what is equation of the weight equation of the weight is the mass into gravitational force g so instance of the weight we are able to write down mass into gravitational force g 
so we can get these equations of the weight density is the rho into g so suppose in this weight of fluid we replace by m into g okay and this is the volume so m upon v that means the mass upon volume is written as the mass density rho so instance of the mass upon volume we write down this rho and g is as it is so weight density equation is the rho into g the unit of weight density in the si system is newton per meter cubes means the weight is measured in a newtons volume is in meter cube so unit of the weight density is newton per meter cubes so weight density of a water is 9810 newton per meter cubes so we know that the 1 kg is equal to 9.81 newtons so what is 1000 it is the rho of the water means density of the water so here we put the rho is equal to 1000 and the value of the g is 9.81 so weight density of the water is 9810 newton per meter cubes suppose we need to find out the weight density of the air so in this equation we put this mass density it is 1.21 into 9.81 same way we can find out for every fluids means every liquids or every type of the gases now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to fluid mechanics or other subject of mechanical engineering for the fluid mechanics or hydraulic machine subject various link is provide in a descriptions as well as in a card card means on a top right screen of your mobile so laptop you can see the i symbols or you can also visit the playlist for more subjects now the third definition is the specific volume specific volume of fluid is defined as the volume of fluid occupied by unit mass of fluid means it is definition is the reciprocal of the mass density okay so volume is coming first and the mass is coming later on so how we can write out in mathematical form so as a mathematical form it is expressed as specific volume is equal to volume of fluid upon mass of fluids so this volume of fluid is supplied in a denominators so it is written as 1 upon mass of fluids upon volume of fluids so mass upon volume is denoted as the rho that means the mass density so specific volume is equal to 1 upon mass density means specific volume is the reciprocal of the mass density the specific volume is the reciprocal of mass density it is expressed as meter cube per kg so what is unit of volume unit of volume is meter cube what is the unit of mass unit of mass is kg so unit of specific volume is meter cube per kg it is commonly applied to the gases it is commonly applied to gases means this is not applied for the liquid majorly this term is connected with this various types of gases and the last definition is the specific gravity or a relative density means here it is the ratio of two density okay from this word what we understand relative density means it is the ratio of the two density now we understand which two densities are used specific gravity or relative density of a fluid is defined as the ratio of weight density of a fluid ratio of weight density of a fluid to weight density of a standard fluids so what is meaning of standard fluids for a liquid the standard fluid is water and for a gas standard fluid is taken air so it is the dimensionless quantity and it is denoted by symbol s dimensionless quantity means it have no units because it is the ratio of two density and both the density have a same unit so unit unit is cancels so specific gravity and relative density have a no units now what is the equation of specific gravity of a liquid so it is the ratio of mass density of liquid upon mass density of water or we can also mention that it is the weight density of a liquid upon weight density of a air suppose we can make this equation for the gases the specific gravity of gases is equal to mass density of gas upon mass density of air 
is equal to weight density of gas upon weight density of air sorry weight density of gas upon weight density of air in a definition here we mentioned the standard fluids okay for a liquid standard fluid is water that's why we can return here what is water and the standard fluid suppose it is the gas then we can consider standard fluid is air that's why we can mention here the air now specific gravity of water is one so how this answer is coming one so suppose here we putting this mass density of liquid and this liquid is water so mass density of the water is 1000 and the standard density is again the 1000 so 1000 1000 we get the answer is 1 now specific gravity for mercury is 13.6 so here this equation is changed suppose we can find out this specific gravity for mercury is equal to mass density of mercury upon mass density of standard fluid and standard fluid is the water so mass density of mercury is 13600 divided by mass density of water it is 1000 so 13600 divided by 1000 we can get the answer is 13.6 so here we can understand the various four properties of fluids so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines or other subject of mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends